Howdy everybody. Uh, before I start, there's a mistake that I gotta correct. Last night I said the bag in, the last bag in, it's in the bag, was 99 cents, but it was actually 4.99. Kudos to Neil Rocks 87 for pointing that out. Now it's time for the Price is Right pricing game recap for Friday, January 14th, 2012. Today we ended the week with the following pricing games. Clock game, that's too much! Grocery game, side by side, dice game, and Plinko. The first contestant was Isidro, and he played clock game for a 32 inch black panel HD LCD TV from Panasonic modeled by Gwendolyn and a video game package which included a selection of Wii games, controllers, console and even steer steering wheels for racing modeled by Amber. Speaking of racing there was also a hot sheet chassis driver's seat that puts you in the action of a NASCAR race which was also modeled by Amber. He had 30 seconds to win both prizes and a thousand dollar bonus. Um, Isidro had to guess the price of the HD LCD TV first. His guesses and whether the price was higher or lower were as follows. One thousand dollars. Lower. Nine hundred. Lower. Eight hundred. Lower. 700, lower, 600, lower, 500, lower, 400, higher, 450, higher, 460, higher, 470, higher, 475, higher, 480, higher, 490, higher, 495, higher, 496, 97, 98, 99, and boom! He won the TV worth 499. Next, for all the Wii games and stuff, he had 17 seconds left. His guesses? 900, lower. 700, higher. 750, lower. 740, lower. 730, lower. 720, lower. 710, and boom again! He got all the games for its $710! Yeah! The prize is totaling $1,209, along with the $1,000 cash bonus, gave Isidro a grand total of $2,209. Jeremy played That's Too Much for a Scion TC modeled by Gwendolyn. The first price was Twelve thousand six ten, and Jeremy kept going. Next was thirteen thousand nine eighty. He decided to go on, and the next price was fifteen thousand six twenty. He went on again and got a price of sixteen thousand eight hundred ninety. He decided to go one more, got a price of eighteen thousand two eighty, and then said, "That's so much." Now, let's see if this was the first price, just over the retail price of the car. When Gwendolyn flipped the price tag around, it was found to be twenty thousand three oh five. Uh it, it, just a sec. There we are. So Jeremy should have gone two more times and stopped at 20950 George, celebrating his 80th birthday, played grocery game for year's supplies of maid service from the maids, dry cleaning, and haircuts from Fantastic Sam's, all modeled by Amber and all worth $4.99. 
5800 Gwendolyn was behind the cash register, and the grocery items were the following. Mellow Yellow Soda, Soy Joy Snack Bar, Swiss Miss Hot Chocolate Mix, Laffy Taffy Candy, and finally, Famous Amos Cookies. It was a rhyme time themed grocery game. It was also the 30th birthday of Scott Robinson who comes up with the themes for this game and other stuff outside. Anyway, George first decided to buy five hot cocoa mixes. One was two seventy nine and five were worth thirteen ninety five. Next he bought three sodas, one of which was one sixty nine. Three were five dollars seven cents, and now he had a total of nineteen dollars two cents. Now he needed between ninety eight cents and a dollar ninety eight. George bought one Soy Joy to finish, and that was a dollar eighty nine, giving him a total of twenty dollars thirty one cents, and making him a winner. Woo, baby! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nicole played side by side for a trip to Niagara Falls, modeled by Amber, which included a six night stay at the Giacomo Hotel and some cruising trips. The price was either thirty one fifty six or fifty six thirty one. Was she a winner? Yeah, baby! <laughs> Austin Powers has spoken! Nicole was a winner! She's going to Niagara Falls! Michael, no, not Mr. Horgan, played Dice Game for a Honda Fit modeled by Amber. As always, there are no numbers in the price of the car higher than six, nor are there any zeros. And the first number was one. First, Michael rolled a three. Was it three? No, it was not three, but Michael believed that the number was higher. Next, he rolled what looked like a one at first, but then landed on four. What? Why is right, Keenan. <laughs> Fours are tough if they're not the number. Was it a four? Nope. And Michael guessed that it was higher. Next, he rolled a three. Was it a three? No again. He said it was higher. Finally, he rolled a five. Was it five? Nope. Michael guessed lower. Now, the moment of truth. Was the second number higher than three? Yep, it was. And it was a six. Now, he went against the odds with the four, saying the actual number was higher. Not the best move, if you ask me. Now, what was the number? It was... a two. And the fourth number was five, which was higher than three. And the last number was three, lower than the five. The price of the car was 16253 And that boneheaded decision on the four is one more reason for Keenan to say Why? Finally, Tiffany had a chance to win up to fifteen thousand dollars playing Plinko. She was given one chip for free and could earn four more with the four small prizes, all of which were modeled by Gwendolyn. First, there was an electric yogurt maker whose price either began with a four or ended with zero. Tiffany said zero, and she was right, so she got another chip. The price was $60. Next, 
The superhero spatulas had a price that either started with five or ended with three. She chose the five and was wrong. It was $56. The next price was a pitcher, the price of which was four to start or three to end. He chose, she chose the three, but was wrong again. It was $40. Finally, the four-cup measuring cup either started with one or ended with two. She chose the two, but was wrong. We should know that measuring cups don't cost more than $15. This one did cost $15. Well, Amber brought over the chip that Tiffany won, and now it was time to drop the chips. The first of her two chips landed in the zero dollar spot. But she still had one more chip. When she dropped it, it came on down to land in the big one, 10 G's. So she won $10,000 total, which goes as a win in Plinko. Yeah! But let's realize that an official win is 50000 While that'll probably never happen, lots of cash is still bound to be won, Plinko. Well, today wasn't a bad show. Three pricing games were won officially, and they were clock game, grocery game, and side-by-side. -side. We also gave away $11,000 in cash. $1,000 was won by a Cedro in clock game, and 10000 went to Tiffany in Plinko. The MVPs of the Price is Right are Cedro, George, and Nicole, and contestant recognition goes to Tiffany for her $10,000 win in Plinko, and Michael for his showcase win. The showcase included an opulent items ice rink, his and her skates, and a trip to Vancouver, B.C. for a six-night stay at the Weston Bay Shore, including private lessons. Also included was a trip to France for a seven-night stay, including daily breakfast and a luxury hotel, as well as two passes to see the 2012 Figure Skating Championships. Yet another impressive bid, as he was off by $912. Very awesome. Tonight's Pricing Game Recap is sponsored by 1990's Rock and Roll, a quiz deck. These are knowledge cards. Next week, Mr. Horgan will be back on Monday, so we will see him then. And until next time, this is I'm 264 Shirt saying good night, have yourself a nice weekend, and have your pets spayed or neutered.